When it comes to launching shortcuts using Siri, it's a straightforward process. However, if we want our shortcuts to work when we launch Siri, it's a few things we have to understand right up front. Let me show you what I mean. We're about to run four shortcuts. Three will work, one won't, and then I'm going to dig into why it didn't work. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Google search. What do you like to search? What's the best IDE for JavaScript? Okay, so we can see that this one worked just fine. We're going to run the next one. Hey Siri, YouTube search. What would you like to search? What's the best IDE for JavaScript? We can see that one ran just fine. And then this is one that I actually use all the time. Hey Siri, uh -huh. workout mode. So you can see that one opened up actually three apps and it'll open up LA Fitness last. So I can just click right here and scan my membership. It also opened up my music playlist to my workout playlist. And then if we come over here, it also opened up Copilot, which is my workout app that I use. Now we're going to run another one that isn't going to work. Hey Siri, men menu. Mastery or brain, second brain. Search. What would you like to work on? Watch. My digital log, right pointing magnifying glass, search, check mark, ultimate capture, flexed bicep, mastery, or brain, second brain. Second brain. I tried, but the shortcut took too long to respond. Now we're going to try it this way again, just to show you that it has nothing to do with how we say it, but we're going to include the shortcuts now, the emojis. Hey Siri, hmm? menu. What would you like to work on? Watch, my digital log. Right pointing magnifying glass, search, check mark, ultimate capture, flexed bicep, mastery, or brain, second brain. Brain, second brain. I tried, but the shortcut took too long to respond. You see, when you run any shortcuts, honestly, it really comes down to making sure that the shortcuts you choose to run all work good with Siri. So let me show you my shortcut log really quickly. Okay, so first thing first, I want to show you those shortcuts that I just ran. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide over here and I'm going to click on shortcuts. Now, we're going to go over here to, well, first, let's do this. The way you launch any of these shortcuts is really simple. You just say the name of the shortcut. So, for example, if I tried to launch this craft shortcut, it's going to be a major conflict because it's a app inside of the iPhone name craft and each shortcut has to have a unique name if you want any chance at running it so I would avoid naming your shortcuts anything based around the name of the app or anything based around anything else that might get mistaken inside of Siri other than that to run it all you gotta do is call out her name say quick capture and that's what's gonna pop up say birthday that's what's gonna pop up say DT that's what's gonna pop up super duper simple now if you want to make sure these shortcuts work that's a different story what I've found is what is based on if they work or not is a hundred percent based on around how much dialogue you have with Siri. So if we look at these shortcuts, it's very little back and forth conversation with me and Siri. She asks me one question and that's it. I give her the answer and then she go off and she unplug this in. We come over here, we look at the same one, it's the same thing, two-step process. She asks for input, I give it to her, and then she pass it to YouTube and do the search. Workout mode. Workout mode, you can have your shortcuts as long as you want. Like, for example, if I wanted to have 50 apps going down a row and have them all opening up or doing something, I could do it with Siri because I'm not concerned about the back and forth. It's only when she asks me a question, I answer it, then she asks me another question that you run the risk of your shortcuts not working. And if we take a look at the choose from menu, we'll see that's exactly what happened here. So I'm going to scroll up to my dock area, which is right here. And when we click on menu, we can see this shortcut is asking me, what do I want to do? I'm telling it what I want to do. And then when it comes to actually picking one to be able to run, she's not letting me pick it. So for me personally, 
if you're going to be using Siri to launch your shortcuts, you want to make sure your shortcuts are Siri friendly. So if it's a lot of back and forth where you got to put in a lot of data, I wouldn't use Siri with that because it's a good chance it's not going to work. If it is where you're just going, you're telling her something and then it's running through a long shortcut, but it doesn't require her to ask you for no information, no more information, then that's what I would use Siri with because that's what's going to work out great. But I mean, at the end of the day, this is how easy it is to do it. If you got any more questions, let me know below. I'd be happy to create a video answering your questions. Till next time. Later.